Today we're going to be talking about the new Panda Crazy Max, which is a replacement for the old Panda Crazy script that we've used for years on Mechanical Turk. This time it's in the form of a Chrome extension, and that allows you a little bit greater security and a few other advantages. To uh, get the Panda Crazy Max extension, you just go to the Chrome Web Store search it up and you'll find a page that looks exactly like this one here you'll come right here and hit add to chrome like i'm about to and it'll give you a little pop-up box tells you that it can read and change your data uh, and then you can add the extension so we'll go ahead and add it and there you go it's been added to chrome now one of the things that you'll need to do is to go up here to the little puzzle piece icon that's right beside the pc max icon at this time Click on that and go find Panda Crazy Max and pin it. Because it's not pinned here. It has to be in blue to show that it's pinned. You pin it here and that'll mean that it'll always be here in your group where you can see it. Now when you actually get it uh, on your computer, you can left click on the little PC icon and it'll allow you an option between starting Panda Crazy and start Search Crazy or going to their help section. Now right now we're just going to talk about Panda Crazy. We'll get to the Search Crazy part in just a little bit later on in this video. So we'll go ahead and click Start Panda Crazy and it'll open it up. Now it already has one Panda already in here by default and one of the first things we'll need to do with that is to just get rid of that one. Uh, and to do that, we do that the same way that you did in your original uh, Panda Crazy, which is to click on the little X here. It'll give you this box here that says deleting a Panda hit. Are you sure you want to do that? And yes, we do. So that should remove it right there. Now, for the most part, uh, this works exactly like what you're used to with uh, the Panda Crazy script. But we'll go through it a little bit anyway just in case anybody's new that doesn't know. Uh, when you get a panda started, which we'll go through here in a few minutes, uh, your pandas will show up in little boxes down through here. Uh, here you'll have a volume control for your alerts that it will bring up for you. You have a little drop down where you can add, stop, but you can do all of these mostly through these little buttons here. Uh, the display, normal, minimal info, one line info, will change the size of the little panda boxes that come up. Most time you need to keep that on normal just so that you can get the information that you need. If you're really running a lot of pandas, which you really should never do anyway, you uh, may want to bring it down to minimal in order to be able to see them all on your screen. Uh, groupings, you can create a group create by selection, start and stop. Uh, you usually won't fool with that a lot unless you're more experienced at running a multiple pandas and you like to arrange them into their own groups. Uh, I personally don't use that feature and just use individual pandas that I can take up and down as I want to. Here you have a listing of your timers. Now there's three different timers uh, that you can default to uh, when you use this and what I mean by timer is uh, the length of time in milliseconds between one search and the next for your individual panda. Um, you set those here by clicking the little button. You can click edit timer. You can just click right here to increase it by 10 milliseconds, decrease it or to add 650 milliseconds or a little over half a second to it. Uh, usually you'll want to go to edit timers, which will bring up this little box right here. And it shows you your main timer, which was the number one, is it 1000 milliseconds or one second, 1 1.4 seconds on number two and 2.1 seconds on timer three. 
Uh, you go ham timer is at 900. You probably should leave that where it is. Now, none of your timers should ever be below 800 milliseconds. If you go below 800 milliseconds, you will risk getting page request errors. If you want to know more about page request errors and how they affect you and your performance on MTurk, then you need to refer to another video we have that specifically covers the topic of page request errors. Uh, so I will try to change my main timer here by clicking it to that 800 milliseconds, save it, and it'll be saved. We'll see here if we bring it up again that it's at 800. You'll want to set these however you please, and you can choose in between the settings based on what other tools you may have running at the same time. Now we'll look here at this little line right here. It gives you a lot of information about what's going on. This off here shows you that there are no pandas running at the moment. It'll say on when there are. Your elapsed time is the exact accurate elapsed time it took to grab pages from Mechanical Turk. This is the speed of your searches. Uh, this is what f figure that you would enter into the uh, page request calculator that we also have accepted is how many it has actually picked up for you since starting it. Here's a PRE counter. Tell you how many PREs have uh, occurred. Uh, your Panda jobs, total number of jobs, and your total earnings for the day. And see, so far today, uh, I've earned ten dollars and twenty cents. Uh, pause does what it says. Pauses it. Uh, stop all, add a new job manually, which we'll go over here in a few minutes, and reset your timer. The timers will uh, fluctuate up and down, and we call that throttling a little bit, and if it gets too far off from where you have one of your settings that you want it, you just can hit reset timer, and that'll bring it back to uh, the exact time that you had it set for. Uh, now I'm going to show you a number of ways to create a panda on Panda Crazy Max. Uh, we'll begin by creating one from the uh, hit listings on Mechanical Turk. Uh, there are ways to manually input a panda and we'll go over that shortly, but the easiest way to create a panda from uh, the MTurk listing is to actually post it on our board and then be able to create a panda with one click from there. So I'll show you that here. Well, like if we wanted, for example, to do one, let's see, how about the, the word meaning project here? We'll click this blue arrow right here it'll bring up a little box we will click bb code because that's the one we use on our board now that will copy that information to your clipboard then you can come to our site which is at ourhitstop.com and then you can go to our today's daily hits thread which i'm on in here i'll scroll straight down to the bottom Paste the hit, hit post reply. Now it comes up and you'll notice the hits posted here and you'll notice these buttons here, Panda once in search. Now Panda creates a regular Panda, which means it will, that, that Panda will search for as many of this one hit that it can find and try to catch them for you. Once will create a once panda, which will search for one copy of this hit for you and only one, and then it will stop searching for it. And a search panda will search for all hits by this requester, not just this one hit, but all by this requester. So usually when it's something that isn't a batch like this, we will just pick out a once panda and click that. So I will click that now. Now I have reset the PRE 
counter by just clicking it, it resets it to zero. And I'm gonna to choose to put it on timer number two. Okay, and timer number two, let's see what was timer number two. Timer number two was at 1.4 seconds. So that should slow it down a little bit. All right, and then I will unpause, turn it back on and we'll watch and see if I continue to get page request errors and it doesn't look like I am. So we're doing pretty well there. Now this will continue to run until I turn it off or until it catches one of these hits. Now when it catches one of these hits, it will turn itself off because it is a once panda. If it was a regular panda, it would keep going and would only stop when I turned it off or when my entire queue filled up with 25 of these hits. Another popular way to create a panda is from a scraper such as Hit Finder or Hit Forker. This is Hit Forker. In order to create a panda from one of these, I would go over here and pick one that I uh, might be interested in, this behavioral study, let's call that. And here we have the P and an O, and that stands for a regular panda or a once panda. And I will click the once. And you can see that now I've returned to the Panda Crazy Max uh, site and indeed the Panda I created is currently running right here. Now let's see if I can get one that I can catch immediately. I'll try to catch one here that should be easy to catch. Let's see, this one here should be pretty easy to catch. So I'll click Once Panda again. And then I'll return to Panda Crazy and you'll see that indeed it made the panda and it caught one. And any hit that gets caught, whether it gets caught by uh, Panda Crazy or by a scraper that you're using or if you catch it manually or if Auto or something else catches it for you, as long as it's in your queue, it will appear down here in the queue watch. And you can... Uh, return it or continue to work on that hit from here. So if I wanted to work on this hit, I would click this, continue work, it would open up. And lastly, I uh, want to talk about how to manually create a panda. Uh, to do that, for example, from your hit groups on Mechanical Turk, you will pick a hit that you'd like to create a panda for and you can see its preview page. When you bring up its preview page, you'll get a URL for it. You'll copy that URL out of your browser. You'll come over to Panda Crazy and you will click to add a job. And here you will enter either the group ID, the requester ID, or the preview URL, or the accept URL. And right now what we've got is the preview URL. I'll put that in. And I can just create that panda right now. But before I do that, you can enter in information that you want to show up that will help you identify that panda once it's there. And you, of course, can uh, choose which type of panda you want. You want a once panda or a search or a just a regular panda or if you want to go ahead and start collecting now or not uh, and then you just click add new panda and there it is and that is how you manually create a panda if this video has been of help to you please be sure to click subscribe and to check out our other videos on YouTube if you'd like to increase the amount of income you're making on Mechanical Turk, one of the best ways is to become a member of an online worker group. There are several of these groups on the internet, but of course, I recommend ours at ourhitstop.com. We aren't called the friendliest MTurk worker board on the web for nothing. Membership is free, so stop by and learn from hundreds of experienced Turkers. I can't guarantee how much, but I can guarantee that you'll learn how to make more money by being a part of our group. We also have some exclusive tools that you won't find anywhere else that can dramatically increase your earnings now.